Good. Now, without going into too much detail about the word choice here, I think it's pretty clear that even in the beginning of time, God designed sex for one man and one woman in marriage. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. Our bodies are temples of the Holy Ghost, and sex outside of marriage defiles our temples. We understand that the beast is a nation or kingdom the Antichrist will control. The what? The Antichrist is a man that some say will rise to power. He is sent from Satan and will declare himself to be Jesus. He will rule the world. But a chip inserted under the skin? It's theft proof. But what about people without credit or bank accounts? It says that no one can buy or sell, save that he had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Even if you don't get the mark, you can have either the name of the Antichrist kingdom or the number of his name on your hands or foreheads. And since he will declare himself to be Jesus, people will be even more likely to accept the mark. So these alternate marks would be a tattoo of some. Why would people want a tattoo just to buy or sell? Well, if Jesus told you to get one, would you? So, what's the big deal about this mark anyway? Those who receive the mark will be destroyed. Lake of fire, brimstone, slain by the sword. So, what do we do if we cannot buy food for refusing a mark? We need faith that God will provide for us like he did the Israelites when Moses led them out of Egypt. God caused manna, a type of bread, to fall from the sky.